Robo, stop walking like that. That weird sound. It's your thighs rubbing together. Stop it! Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Last time, we got Robo. We went through some factory and opened up the Protodome's teleporter, which took us here. Now, where the f*** are we at? Some sort of limbo? Should I touch these things? I'm afraid to touch them. Should I touch them? Oh, well, psh. Okay, apparently they don't do anything, so let's just explore and find out where the hell we are exactly. Ah, that sound must be this guy sleeping. Let's talk to him first. Let's just see what happens. Oh, my guest. He's old. Since it said old, I went with old voice. What do you mean, guest? And where the f*** are we? That's a good question. The end of time, of course. All us travelers in time wind up here. Now, where are you from? We're from Guardia Circa... Uh-huh. When four or more beings step into a time warp, the conservation of time theorem states that they will turn up at the space time. Huh. Okay. So if you take more than three people in there, then you come here. That's an interesting concept. So you can never have more than three party members at once. I think that's what that tells me. Huh. And what is that? So one person always has to stay here by themselves. That is kind of interesting. You can just visit your friends whenever you wish, but you can never travel in groups greater than three. I guess that's not a big surprise. Who will be, Chrono? What? Oh, I have to make this decision now? Like right now? Well, I don't know who's going to be useful for the next part. I should have had you guys like tell me. Damn it. But I didn't know it was going to happen. I was kind of hoping that one of you guys would probably, you know, spoil something. No, I wasn't hoping. Trust me, I don't want you to spoil anything. My point is, um, I know you guys were having issues watching last episode. Uh, for some reason, YouTube was being garbage with that video. Even I was having trouble, like, looking back to see if it worked. Kept getting black screen and nothing but sound. I think I'm going to choose Robo and Marl, just so I have the healer at all times. I'm always scared when I have a healer in a game that I'm not unfamiliar with. And I'll stick to Robo since he's new and we'll try him out. Luca can wait here. She can be a big girl and stick around here. Now don't you go getting any ideas? What, she thinks the old man is going to hit on her? <laughs> so press the Y button to switch party members. Okay, how do we get back to our time? You see those lovely pillars of light. Those hook you up to different arrows. Once you've been through a gate, you can always come back here. Use a gate from here. Step into the light and press the A button, but be aware of the gate. Which leads from that bucket. What bucket? What bucket? Hey. Hey what? Bitch, don't be yelling at me, hey. Don't you need my brain power? No. Oh. Wait, what? Don't be in such a rush. Before you go, take a peek inside the room behind me. Oh. Okay. I was going to check these things first, actually. These shiny things. They're so shiny. But apparently I can't do anything to them. Why are they so shiny if I can't do anything to them? Well, that one heals me. How nice. I'll save it, too. I didn't get to save it at the end of last episode. Luckily for me, the Wii lets me do, like, an, its own built-in save states. That's really nice. So let's check out this room behind him that he's saying I should check out. Oh, God. It's one of these little monster bastards in here again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Specchio, the master of war. <sighs> How do I look to you guys? You look... Super strong. Hmm, let's put it this way. If you're strong, I look strong. If you're weak, I look weak. Huh. Okay. So what if I would have said he was weak? He would have probably insulted me, huh? People began to abuse their powers. It's not so bad that one was allowed to use magic except wizards. But you have a determination, I mean. Magic is a strength. Magic is divided into four types. Lightning, water. Or lightning, fire, water, and shadow. Oh, that's interesting. Four elements. Oh. Actually, I think I was already reading this in the menu. Marl and... Wait, what? <laughs> oh, okay. So... Alright. So the Robo, he has shadow magic, but he's not shadow-based. Okay. So that probably means each character is weak to a certain element? I would imagine that's what that means? Wait. Think magic and starting from the door... Walk clockwise along the walls of my room three times. Don't lose track now. Clockwise? Which way is clockwise again? So, let's go. He did say walk, but I'm not going to walk. Walking takes too long. Three times? 
I don't know what this is going to accomplish, but whatever the fuck. Let's just see what happens. One more time just to be safe. Alright, uh, did we do enough? No cheating, I'm watching. From the door, clockwise along the wall three times. What the fuck? Okay, fine. Fuck you. <sighs> Why is it so difficult? Oh, you know what I'm doing wrong? I'm pressing diagonals. All you gotta do is press left and then up. They made it so it's easy to walk along the wall. I wonder if I have to press anything once I walk around the wall or just assume that I did it right. God, I love it. I love it. But yeah, last episode, I'm sorry, guys. I, I don't understand why it was having playback issues. I mean, it still was this morning last time I checked, so I hope the issues can be resolved soon. If not, I would hate to re-upload a 40-minute fucking episode, but if I if it if worse comes to worse, I will do such a thing. But it's funny, because I have like 70 views on that shit, and that's just because people have been having problems trying to watch it. And did I walk around the door enough times yet, you son of a bitch? God damn. Walked around like six times. Oh god. Thank you. Give me some fucking magic. Aw oh, yeah, magic time. Chrono learns to use magic. Like techs weren't enough. Aw, oh, does that mean I should have brought Luca with me? Aw. Oh. <laughs> sure, let's try it out. I don't even know. I didn't even know there was magic in this game. I thought it was all based on text. I'll take it. Lightning. Alright, let's bust out whatever she can do. Ice. Ice and lightning. Oh, God damn it! I just got a text. Hold on. I'm going to have to take a break here. Be right back. We now return to your regularly scheduled broadcast of Let's Play Chrono Trigger. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. I got a little bit of a text message which involved me having to go do something real quick. Usually I don't like to continue recording when an interruption happens, but since we're doing a blind LP here, I had no choice but to continue on with what I was doing. Anyways... What were we doing? We're learning how to use magic. Lightning. Chrono can use lightning magic. Marl can use ice magic. Uh, how long do we have to keep this farce going? Who knows? Let's just keep hitting this fool with stuff until I win. He's bound to die eventually. Speckio. More like douchebagio. <laughs> funny joke is funny. So, can you... Oh, my. Oh, my, oh, my. Look at that. Damage. Um... I don't want to lose. Can you lose this battle? Can you win this battle? Is this battle just to show you how to use magic until you lose? Oh, no. Nope. Never mind. Victorious. Good, I didn't waste my revive, which I almost did. That was most embarrassing. Harump, don't make a habit of this. Here, this is for you. We get... A special refresher. One magic tab and five ethers. Yay. The master of war. Being newcomers to meet me. So we still got to bring Luca here, I guess. That's fine. We'll bring Luca over here when maybe when we get some more new characters. Now what do you have to say, sir? Well, well, people who lived long ago all enjoyed such powers. Now I know you're itching to go ripping back and forth through time, but first you need to return to your era. And you must hurry. The longer you remain here, the harder it will be to change the... Which must... What? Change that which must be changed. And what, pray tell, is that that must be changed? Is it he who must not be named? I don't know. What's this way? Did he did he say what was over here? I guess nothing. And this must be the bucket he was talking about. Yeah, that gate leads to 1999-80. It leads to the day of Lavos. Go there only if you're looking to achieve a shorter lifespan. Lavos will help you leave this <laughs> mortal coil. So basically, it's telling me don't go there, you're going to die. Fine. We won't go there. I don't want to die. So, one thing I have heard about this game is that there's very, 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 very many endings. Now, I don't know if there's that many, very many endings, but I know there's a lot of them. And I think the way you do the different endings is that you can go beat the game early as, like, really early. 
I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what the case is. Now, I don't know if I can go to it right this minute, but I'm going to go ahead and assume that this bucket tell, takes you to it. And that's how you achieve beating the game early. Anyways, let's, uh... No, I want to go... Wait, no, actually, Protodome... Wait, what? Mystic Mountain, 65 million BC? I have not been there. Wow. And where's this one go? Medina, Medina Village. Actually, this is where I want to go, huh? But before I do that, I actually want to go back to 2300 AD real quick. Because of a couple... Not a couple things. Just one thing in particular that you guys suggested that I do. And I wasn't sure if it was even possible to do, but... Clearly, I got two, at least two suggestions that said it was possible. So I'm going to go back and do it now. Because if I'm going to get any random treasure chests, I might as well get them as soon as possible. Because you never know when items will, be, will become obsolete. So you might as well get them now. And I'm also curious to see what kind of other things are lying in this place. Now you probably can already guess where I'm going. Yep, we're going back to lab 32. I didn't know you could actually traverse lab 32 by foot if you just walk this way. And then talk this way. And then walk us. Fuck. Mutants. Run. And we'll get to test out our new magic on random enemies. So let's try it out on this triple mutant battle, which might not be that easy. I hope it's not. Um, let's hit him with a little bit of Cyclone. I think we're just going to hit two of them, huh? Yeah. Actually, I think I'd rather hit him with a Slash. Slash might do more damage. Boom. All right, and then we'll hit him with a little bit of ice. And we'll see, what, what can we do with Robo? Brobo. Brobo, what you got up your sleeve, Brobo? Brobo, you can hit him with a laser spin. That sounds, that sounds delectable. Oh yeah, that's right, that's the move that hits all. Still getting used to this. Uh, I haven't played this game since last Thursday now, so you know, it's like a brief warm up, trying to remember what everything is and what to call things. Eh. Hit him with the lightning. Can you hit all? Huh. Guess not. I was wondering if you could hit all with your magic, that's all. There's probably a way to hit multiple enemies with your magic. And there's probably a way to combine magic with techniques, which is probably going to make some pretty badass moves in this game. I'm kind of excited to see how that works. Now, if that doesn't happen at all ever, I would be surprised. But there's probably a reason why I haven't been learning any new techs. And it probably has to do with the fact that I didn't have magic yet. I think now that I have magic, we'll be learning new techniques. But, call me crazy. In fact, let's go ahead and look at text and just see what it says. Yep, spin cut. Oh, well, that doesn't say anything about magic. Ooh, you can actually learn a cure spell. That's cool. And Robotaku. Cool. New techniques. Can't wait to learn them so I can see what they do. And I see a treasure chest already. God, more mutants. You know they're not... Ugh, I said you know they're going to come to life. Or not. Or out of nowhere, we're going to fight five fucking blue slimes. Oh, but they're all clusterfuck together. Quick, hit them with a cyclone. And make them want to do it all night long. Going hard when they turn the spotlights on. Gonna... Oh, what? Oh, that's right. They're only weak to magic, huh? My bad. That was, that was my bad. That was, that was my bad. Um, I guess we can hit them with ice. Fuck, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Can you hit them with a laser beam? Does laser beam work? So I'm pretty sure these guys only have like one HP, right? Or something like that. Some ridiculously low amount. Booyaka! You all got destroyed. I take it. I take it. Alright, from here on out in this place, I'll probably be skipping battles just because it looks like we're gonna fight nothing but uh, enemies we already fought. But race log, race log, race log. What is that? What is a race log? I don't know who I'm going to put that magic tab on quite yet. I'll have to decide later. But what is this? Logs the bike race score. Okay. It logs the bike race score. Fucking useful. There better be more treasure than that here. That can't be the only treasure chest here. There better be more. Fucking mutants, go away.
Okay. Looks like we're already at the end of the area, though. What the heck? Let's make sure I didn't miss a treasure chest before I go on to a new area, because then the monsters will respawn. Then again, what I could probably do is take the take the, the, the jet bike back, which is probably what I'm going to do, just so I don't have to walk back through this place. And we can see if we can get any rewards for playing the jet bike game again. I like this music, though. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Wait. Ask RXXR how to use it. Who's RXXR? Oh, must be that one. What's happening? I am RXXR, the log keeper. I'll record your three fastest times. There are two ways to race Johnny. Which do you prefer? Mode one with the turbo or mode two without the turbo? And you can change perspective with L and R. Oh, interesting. I like the turbo, though. It's kind of cool. Okay. Well, no. Let's go ahead. Johnny, bring it on. I don't even know if I remember how to do it. I just remember how F0-E zero it, zero -E it is. Oops, I accidentally used the boost already. This doesn't seem like it's too challenging, though, if you think about it. Oh, maybe you can only change perspective in the other race mode. That's why it was under the second race mode. Either way, it seems like this is a really easy game to win. Does it not... Like, why, why, what's considered, like, what I don't get is, why is there a timer? Because isn't it, like, always the same speed? Oh, shit, I didn't realize that was the end. I fucking lost. Weak. Oh, well. Wait. If you, wait, what? Oh, you have to, you have to win to make it across. Okay. Well, attempt number two. Oh, he boosted too. What a cheater. <sighs> Lame. Attempt number three. Victorious bitch. Eat my shit, Johnny. Johnny be fag. Yeah, I called you that. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I don't even understand what high score even means. I don't even know what none of that shit even means. Whatever. Screw you, Johnny B. Doo Doo. Yeah, screw you. Yay, new high score. Woohoo! I don't know what new high score really means. Maybe you guys can let me know if there's anything cool from playing that game. But we've already wasted most of this episode just uh, doing old shit. So let's head back to the Protodome and head back to our time and see if there's anything cool we can do there. Now that we have Robo in the party. Actually, you know what I think I'll do? Huh. I'm thinking, I'm trying to decide if I want to. You know what I might do? I might go get Luca. Just because. Get Luca, make her learn her magic. Just to get it done and over with, you know? And that way I can use her. And because I kind of want to take her back to, Pr to Chrono's mom and see what she says about Luca being in the party. So that might be interesting. So let's take Luca with us. Sorry, Marl, you get left behind. Um, I do want to, uh, hold on, let's just, uh, let's just do the magic thing real quick so I can show you, so I can figure out what her magic is, which I think is obvious her magic is going to be fire. So let's go ahead and get that real quick. Good, I don't have to fucking walk around the room just to learn it. Thank, thank Jesus. No, I don't want to try it, I'm good. Now if I beat him, I probably can get more care package or something, but I don't care. All right, cool. So her magic is fire. We'll be testing that out momentarily in the next set of battles we fight, which may be back in our time. So let's head back to our time just to kind of see what is going to be next. Back to 1000 AD. But Medina Village, is that... Where is Medina Village? That's the question I have. I don't even know the name of the main village. Oh, wait, what? Okay, this is not where I left off. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> and we popped out of somebody's cupboard. I like it. I like it. Hey, did you people just come out of the closet? Hey, what are you what are you trying to say, bro? I ain't gay. I ain't gay. Who do you think you are coming out of our going out of the closet at all hours? So we can probably go back in the closet if we want to. That's a good thing to note. I'm not gonna try it right now because I don't want to have to do something back. Wait, founded by the ancestors of the mystics who lost the war to the human beings. Most mystics hold a grudge against the humans. Be careful. 
You folks hungry? Sure. You got some free food? Oh, sweet. We get some free food. I love it. Hey, wait a minute. There's an odd man who lives near the cave to the mountains to the west. You might enjoy a chat with him. Odd man lives near the cave, mountains to the west. All right, well. Wait, what? Humans fought the mystics over 400 years ago. My motto is forgive and forget, but not many seem to agree with me. Well, you guys are just so righteous. So where the f are we on the map, I wonder? What is this? Medina Square. We got the market. Let's explore. What the fuck? We'll just use the rest of this episode to explore. We got Big Boy over here. No human's gonna talk to me! Too late. I already did, bro. Maybe you didn't talk to me. Wait, what? Nothing to sell here to humans. F*** you, buddy! Wait, what? Oh, hell no. You wanna throw down with moi? Oh, no, you did not, bro. Check this lightning spell out. Suck it. Suck it real good. Oh, we're fighting... I didn't realize we were fighting the henchman and the Omnicrone. That's funny. Um... Yeah, let's hit him with a laser spin. Oh, I already killed the other one. Oh, yeah, we can see their HP now that we have Luka, too. That's cool. And I just attacked with her instead of using her magic, which is what I wanted to do. You dumbass. Laser spin didn't work. Big surprise, right? Lightning! Lightning kicked ass on the henchman. Oh, my God. Apparently, lightning doesn't work on that one, though. Let's hit him with a little bit of fire, then. Luca, why don't you help him out? Fire. A little bit of thunder, a little bit of lightning, a little bit of... Oh, fire doesn't work either. So I guess we're going physical attacks only. He must be resistant to magic. <laughs> Those guys were pushovers, man. You'll be selling me shit now, bro. We got a fire punch tech. Awesome. They got the boss? Beasts. Damn right I'm a beast. I'm a dog. I'm a motherfucking problem. You sell me shit or I'll break your fucking kneecaps. What? What an ass. Look at these prices. Look at these fucking prices. That's an asshole. If there was ever an asshole. Look at this man. He's got fucking badass demon edge blade. But it cost me one way too much money. I don't even have anywhere near that kind of dough, bro. Something tells me... This place might sell me stuff a little bit better prices. Yeah. Uh, it's not like your prices are that for your friends. It's all right. One day we'll probably be able to buy stuff from him normal. But for now, they don't like us. What's up, bro? I'm not spoiling any meals. I'm just trying to have a conversation. Uh, who's Heckran? Huh. I don't know. What up, dog? Oh, yeah? No room for me, hey? Time to throw down. Wow, this whole place, is, this whole town is just... A freaking load of do donkey do. At least all these enemies are just enemies I fought before. They're not like new enemies that are gonna kick my ass. And they're not just pallet swaps, which I think so far has been a good job by the makers of these this game. Meaning Square. I haven't seen anything that's pallet swapped of something I've already seen. At least not yet. That doesn't mean I won't run into it eventually. But so far, every enemy has been unique. I like it. I like it. Very nice. But I think most RPG games just can't live without some pallet swapped enemies. It takes up a lot less room. Well, he actually charged a decent amount to stay here, but I'm not gonna. You know why? Because you're an ass. I'm not staying at your shitty inn. You and your shitty inn. I'm not staying there anyways. I just wanted to kick his ass for fun. Elder's house. Let's see, we came out in this residence. Let's go to the elder's house, I guess. See what's cracking up in here. Whoa, is that the elder over there? He looks scary. This work is brutal. What work might that be? Ozzy the Eighth uses his ancestor train to boss us around. Is that right? I see that shininess. Hell yeah, free speed tab. Yeah. Probably gonna use that on Robo because he's so slow. Medina's village's leader. My ancestors served the great mages. Oh, great mages. Why did you simply exterminate the human race 400 years ago? Wait, what? Exterminate the human race? Did we mess something up in 600 AD? So now there's nothing but monsters here? And no more humans? Whoa, that's actually interesting. Only magic attacks can harm the beast to the west. Alright. Good to know. Good to know. And we got ourselves another magic tab. Yeah, I don't, I'm not, like I said, I'm not sure who I want to use those on yet, but I will think about it. And I'll probably do something with that soon enough. Or you guys can give me suggestions. Who's the best with magic? I guess I could just look at stats. Anyway, what do we have here? That's chanting? 
That's a weird sound to be using for chanting. Oh, no. Well, I think something got changed in the past. Because now our time, 1000 AD, is very different. Sir Magus, huh? So Magus now took over our time period? What did we mess up back in the, t in the time? And waged war against the humans when Lavos is awakened. All humans are doomed! Ha 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 ha. Okay, well, that's just fantastic. Great. Just fucking great. Magus now runs this time period, does he? Well, let's explore a little- wait, west is where we need to go, so let's explore over here first. Let's see what's up here. I saw this, like, this diamond- is this a tent? It's a forest ruins? The forest ruins. Ooh, I want treasure. Mid ether. Oh yeah. What do we got? Whoa. Looked like a tent on the map, but this looks like a fucking magical pyramid of doom. We probably can't do anything here yet, huh? Nope. Doesn't look like we can. Oh well. Back outside we go then. Alright, anywhere else to go on the map? Because I'm thinking we're closing in on the end of this episode just because. I know I haven't done a whole lot, but you know. Sometimes it's just an exploration episode. It happens. It happens. But yeah, let's go ahead and check the rest of this map just to kind of see where else we can go. I want to try to not go talk to this old man in the west yet. Just to kind of look around. Because what do we got? We got a mountain we can go to? Yeah, Hecron Cave. Somebody talked about Hecron earlier. And we got the Melchior's... Oh, yeah, let's go to Melchior's hut. Let's just talk to this... Oh, Melchior! Ah, this fool. The one that wanted to buy my sword. This guy. Yeah, I'd like to buy a new weapon. Hell yeah. Okay, here we go. Now we got some new stuff. Well, sort of. Well, we got a new weapon for Krona. I'll buy that. And watch. As soon as I buy it, I'm going to find three of these. Fucking already... I already know it. And I'll go ahead and buy a plasma gun for Luca. And actually, let's sell some shit because I got those extra load swords that I definitely don't need. Let's go ahead and sell two of them. I definitely won't need three of them. Um, yeah, I'm one of those people that likes to keep, like, every fucking thing I own. Wait, I just bought a plasma gun, didn't I? And I already have one. Son of a bitch titties. Selling one. I didn't realize that was one of the things I had had already. Anyway, sell a high tunic, sell a karate yi, sell a bronze mail. And what else do we have more than one of? Hide caps, you can go. And anything else we don't need? Nope, we're good. Okay. If there aren't evil in this world, there would be no need for weapons. What a sad state of affairs. Oh, what a sad state of affairs. Um, now let's go ahead and equip this new stuff before I can forget. Because apparently I've been forgetting to equip stuff. Who knew? Ah, <sighs> lame. Super lame. Uber lame. Dooby doob doob. Alright, we're good. We're good. We're good. What do we got downstairs, though? Let's check down here. Ooh, a book. Can we read the book? Okay, lots of books. Can we read any of the books? Is there any purpose to this room at all? I don't know. Alright. I think with the little bit that I had to start this episode and with this rest of the episode, I have enough. So, next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger, we'll explore the mountain or the cave of Hecron. What will lie inside? Probably a beast that's only weak to magic. Somebody might have already gave that away. I'm not sure. See you guys then. Peace.